So in the United States, more than 80% of Americans live in urban and suburban areas, and just the whole process of urbanization results in the loss and alteration of wildlife habitat. And so one of the projects that I've been working on is the Neighborhood Nest Watch project. And this is a partnership with the Smithsonian Institution Migratory Bird Center down in Washington, D.C. And we go into people's yards and we're really trying to assess how our backyard bird populations are doing. And to do this, we work with homeowners um, by trying to find as many nests in their yard and trying to, um, we, we safely catch birds and we put unique color bands on them so that we can start tracking individuals so that we can see how long these birds are living. And so, you know, for a lot of people, this would be like, oh, the rob my robin is back. And so you never really know whether it's the same robin that comes back to your yard every year. But when we put these unique color bands on their legs, we can start identifying individuals. So then we can say, oh, green over yellow is back again this year. And so what we do is we visit each yard once per, per season and we try to collect as much data as possible. And then at the end of our four hour visit, we turn the project over to the homeowners. So they become the eyes and ears of the yards. They become the scientists. They start monitoring the nests that we found together and they start monitoring the birds that we banded to start tracking year to year survival. And so the, the fun thing about this project is that not only are we finding out some really interesting information about backyard birds in terms of how long they're living, some of the risks that they're facing in these more urban areas compared to more rural um, neighborhoods, um, but we're also really enabling people to take, um, take an active role in science and they get this mentored experience and they get to see that science isn't something that happens you know out in the woods or in the laboratory that it can happen in their backyard and so it kind of dispels this image of the scientists in the lab coats with the beakers and so that to me is also really exciting for people to really see that you know there's all this really exciting nature and natural processes happening right underneath their nose. And so you don't really have to go far to experience things like predator-prey interactions or plants pollination, um, or even things that are going on underground, some of these things like soil respiration. And so by working in people's yards, we're able to help them make that connection. And, and I'm hoping, you know, it's making people think twice about some of the decisions that they're making. You know, maybe plant a few more oak trees or some other native shrubs, um, maybe letting some of their grass grow a little bit longer or letting it go completely. Um, and really starting to think, well, maybe I can try to have parts of my lawn or parts of my, my yard that's just for wildlife habitat but then also have some other areas that are just for, for us, for people.